So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a historic moment in the world of rugby. Today, from the iconic Stadio Sergio Lanfranchi in Parma, we witness the debut of Portugal in the under-18 Six Nations Rugby Championship. It's a thrilling occasion, offering a glimpse into the future stars of the game as Italy faces off against Portugal in this first time they will be taking part in the under-18s Six Nations Festival. Both sides making their way onto the pitch. The second match of four we are bringing in this afternoon. Now it's time for the anthems. Talent on display. And this is the talent that will take to the field in this Six Nations Under 18 festival side between Italy and Portugal. Italy, Paolo Grassi names his side. Keep an eye out on Luca Rossi of Passaro Rugby at this group half and Roberto Fasti of Benetton Rugby Treviso starting that fly half. And also Alessandro Drago of Meliano Venito Rugby, the fullback for Italy under 18. Portugal making their debut in this competition and how Uva of Portugal names his starting 15. Keeping out on Eva Montero on the left wing of Racing. As well as Matibento is opposite number on the right wing from Cabrini. 
Thomas Marquez of Condella starts at fly half. They are the replacements. We have plenty of them in this competition. And at 12 15, 13 15, I should say, Saba Makharedze of Georgia will get this. Second match of the day underway. Thomas Marquez of Portugal. Portugal in their red shirts going from right to left. On this second day, second match of the day here at the Stadio Sergio Lavracci in Parma. Ireland, France, and England, Wales to come on this Saturday afternoon. We have what can only be described as a rich selection of rugby talent on this Saturday for you to divulge and whet your appetites with. Stars of the future on display as Eduardo Uva of Portugal will go from the hockey here to test his darts. And unfortunately, it doesn't hit the board on that occasion. Still though, we're in Portuguese possession. Just to remind you at this level, 35 minutes each way we will play. Picked up by Thomas Del Suto of Italy. The ball's been lost again. Chance of a turnover here for the men in red. Picked up by Miguel Romero. Duarte Vasco Costa trying to make some yards. Macedo. Marquez. Sends us from high into the Italian sky. Ball lost, but still picked up by a red shirt. And Vasco Costa is the one who advances. Macedo. Chip forward by Marquez. Sends it out of play and everybody can reset. We have two minutes of this game. Good start from Portugal. And the Portuguese fans who have come in their numbers seem to enjoy the start that this, their side has made. To try and put Henri Bruno Bonetti. Plays it rugby at Bath. Try and put him under pressure. From the line. Finds his man in Anthony Miranda, the Italian captain. Use it! Use it to the cry from our Georgian referee. High into the sky. Ball is lost, but it will be a red ball. Nervous start, you could say, from both these sides. One of two unforced errors being made. Italy on home soil. Picked up by Romero. Running rugby coming here from the Portuguese. This is Tommy Lobo. Macedo. Diego Rivera. Gets over the game line. Macedo. Martin Diaz of Doreto. Inching their way forward. The Italians. In resolute in defence, Marquez forces to kick into the 22, and here comes the response from the Italians. Deep into touch, and Italy can reset, but it's the Portuguese who have started the batter. Really are getting on the proof foot. This crowd here in Parma. On a warm spring day, around there, 17, 18 degrees. Just tipped away, the last ball has been lost, but it's got a red hand on it with Vasco Costa, Marquez, 
Sends it downfield. And an excellent kick it is from the Portuguese number 10. But Italy camped on their 22. So we continue. Picked up by Mastrangelo from the line. Box kick. Excellent return from Marquez with the take. Macedo. Eduardo Uva, the hooker. Portugal come running with Lobo. And this is Montero. Montero can't find a man. Loses possession. But Italy under pressure inside their own 22, where they have been for much of this first half so far. Drago. Picked up by Bonetti. Reinforcements on their way. Italians trying to slow the game down, trying to stop the Portuguese momentum. They come again. Team in red with Montero. This is Diaz. Chip forward. Ball went backwards, but under pressure. Italy have to send it into touch once again. And the Portuguese line out inside the Italian half. Good start from Portugal. Much to the delight of some of their fans. Uva from the line. And we've seen the last 12 months this birth of Portuguese rugby. Especially that great result in the World Cup, and this could be a good start from this is Valente on the chase. Valente's on the way! And Bernardo Valente opens the score for Portugal, and it's not more than they deserve. They've started the battle of these two sides. Confetti already in the crowd. They're celebrating seven minutes in, and as are the Portuguese. What a start for Portugal. They open the scoring in this tie. Great vision. Marquez with the kick on the first touch. Beautiful from Bernardo Valente. Watching his compatriot Cristiano Ronaldo with the first touch like that. Superb. Found the vision on the run. Bernardo Valente of Agronomia Rugby opens the score for Portugal. Marquez with the extras. Marquez, good from the team. Great vision from Portugal. The Portuguese coaching staff will be delighted with that, especially with this start. Italy have had no answers in their first eight and a half minutes. They've been under the cosh. And no more than Portugal deserve. Uva. Italy now with an attacking opportunity. Henri Bonetti. Gets the call from Venuto. And collected. 
What's the Italian response? Again, one or two unforced errors in their passage of play. Del Suto, though, picks up. Vardin. Bonetti, good hands. Miranda, the captain. Excellent hands to Dene. Dene, good tackle from Thomas Marquez. Rossi. Dolce. The referee did call an advantage and it will be an Italian penalty and an opportunity to get some points on the board. Instead, they fancy Lebanon up the score. With a line out, five minutes after ten for the Portuguese defence under some pressure. Atmosphere instead the Stadio Sergio Lanvlaci. Especially for the home side. Long line out, another drive to come. Vadin lays it off to Bonetti. At the back of this drive. Rossi's there for him if they need the help. Instead, they're going to try and inch their way forward towards the try line. It's not a bad effort. But instead, Ross is going to pick it up. It's no, they're going to continue to go, continue to go. There is close to the try line. I'll get over. Bonetti, the scorer. Italian response. Took just three minutes. Excellent catch, excellent drive, very patient play from the Italians. And Bonetti, who plays at Bath Rugby Academy here in the UK, reduces the deficit to two points with a conversion to come. First test for Roberto Fasti of Benetton Treviso. Sliced off the boot. So it's just a two point game. One way to go though. 12 minutes in. Italy 5, Portugal 7. We continue. This next bit of entertainment. Portugal kick off and it's collected by Thomas Del Sudo. Rossi, picked up by Luigi Nellin of Rugby, Rovigo Delta. Drago, ball lost, not an advantage to come here for the Italians. They want to keep possession here and try and gain some yards and territory instead. Portugal, keeping them honest inside their own 22. Kept in play though, and well taken by Martin Diaz. Diaz offering a little run and often dart. It's found some space. He's found a lot of space, in fact. Inside the 22, he comes. The offload is is good, but unfortunately, found part of the whitewash on the steer side touchline. And it will be an Italian line out, but danger there for Italy. We have to keep an eye on that young man. A box of tricks from the Portuguese fullback. Bonetti, the try scorer for Italy. 14 minutes in. Box kick downfield from Rossi. Take it. Italy head inside the Portugal half, but need help. Need the reinforcements. Here they come with Rossi. Bonetti. 
Cross it to his left hand side. Picked up by Drago. Drago. This is Noventa. Noventa. Ball to not go into touch. But his ball has been turned over. Picked up by Mateus. Macedo. Vasco Costa. Gets it the second time of asking. And Marquez eyes the touchline. Instead, doesn't find it. Italy will have another bite of the cherry. Let on by Del Certo, but illegally. And we will reset where the Portuguese scrum. Well, it's been a breathless first half of rugby so far. Great endeavour seen by both these sides. Right, well, this moment in time, you, and you, it's a boxing match, and you give the first round to Portugal. Come this match from Italy. Is Portugal the ones who seem to be having the attack and endeavour for 60 minutes? But first scrum of this time, we'll see how both the front rows can cope with this first test. Picked up by Machado. Launched downfield as a good kick as well. By Marquez. High fives for the Portuguese fly half. The winter Portugal line out inside the Italian 22. first half. Again though, Uva has been a little bit guilty of some unforced errors from the line. And it's gifted the Italians possession back. Agnelli loses out possession. And will restart from near the halfway line. Captain, we have a knock on in the line out. The crowd now getting involved. The Italians are responding to the Portuguese singing and the blaring on the horn. Pop said, when he goes in Gacharit, he intentionally goes backwards. Okay. Okay. A little bit closer, okay? Don't go back. Stay on your zone. So second test here of both front lines. Crouch. Bound. of Portugal with the putting. And collects. Portuguese set piece, full of running, full of vigour. They're off and running into the races again. Montero now needs help. Gets it from Diaz. Diaz tries to spin on a sixpence to get forward, but unfortunately, guilty of holding on. And Italy can regroup and start again. Does a clear release.
15 to play in this first half. Italian penalty, and we'll look to send this downfield for the boot of Roberto Fasti. Makes his way just onto the the entrance of the Portuguese half. Bonetti. Goes long and finds Inzadene. Vadim. Agnelli. Drago. Luca Rossi. Bonetti. Rossi. Ravinelli. Rossi. Fasti. Rossi. Chip forward. And the bounce. Sends this one into touch, and Portugal will be under pressure inside their own 22. Pressure. Fortney needs to find his man here. Portugal collect possession. Diego Carvalho. Macedo. Marquez. Looks to find touch. And has gained plenty of yards with that, but Italy will have the ball into the Portuguese half. Be aware of the blocks going in front, okay? At the line. Be aware of the blocks going inside. Okay, in front, I'll stop yeah. that. Yeah. Goes long. Finds Inzadene. Luigi Nalin keeping his way towards the 22. Rossi. Good offload to Benito. Penalty not Portugal. An opportunity for the team in red to relieve some pressure. Italy been asking some questions the last few minutes. Marquez sends it up towards the halfway line. By Romero. Red, red. Ball goes okay. high into the sky. But the Italian backs under pressure. Instead, it is collected by the team in red and picked up by Machedo now. Attacking platform on its way here for the Portuguese. Machedo assesses his options, goes to the left hand side and uses Calvalho. Offload is good. Now, Fernando Levente is on the run. Inside pass to Tommy Lobo. Lobo. With momentum. Gets up towards the Italian 22. Macedo. Chip forward. Nobody read that pass. And Italy will restart. Right. 
But another example there of the Portuguese who are not afraid to try a couple of tricks. They're very creative in their attacking play. The Italians have to be on their guard. Marquez. Bento collects. This is Uva. This is Valente. Vasco Costa. And this is Diaz looking for the corner. And Diaz scores a second try for Portugal. Then enjoying a Saturday afternoon here in Parma. Two tries to the good for the Portuguese. Martin Diaz of GD Dirito, the scorer this time. Created the gap. A grin like a Cheshire cat as he puts the ball down. Delight for Portugal. As I mentioned a few moments ago, they are dangerous, it seems. They've got this attacking platform. They're not afraid to run the ball. They're not afraid to be creative in an attacking play. He's put the Italians at sixes and sevens. Nine minutes to go at the end of the first half. The Italians wouldn't mind the whistle now, just give them a chance to regroup. seen so far the Italians are playing some very traditional style of rugby Portugal not afraid to throw the ball about and it's working seven point lead Marquez this to take it to nine nine points the difference Try from Bernardo Valente Martin Diaz four points from the boot of Thomas Marquez Gives Portugal a lead of 14 to 5 here in Parma. Just a second, please. Hands up. So, how do Italy respond? They're going to need a response. In the last few minutes of this first half. But Portugal are the ones who right now are on the front foot and in relishing this opportunity of playing in the Six Nations Under-18 Festival. And they're enjoying every minute of it, it seems. Take from Thomas Marquez. A legal tackle from the Italians, though, has gifted Portugal opportunity to send this ball into the Italian half. And it's the Portuguese who are singing. Yes, the Portugal fans ringing home to say, get on YouTube right now and watch this. Portugal are in the ascendancy against the Italians on Italian soil. Uva has been hit and miss from the touchline. Wouldn't mind a hit on this occasion. Finds a double top this time. Through Moran, through Romero. And here come Portugal once again. Able to create another attacking opportunity. This time, Marquez takes a chip. Trying to put the full back under pressure. The bounce is caught. The Italian full back off guard. Drago, but. To his credit, collects and gives the opportunity for Italy to try and send this ball downfield. Called by a Jordan referee to use the ball now. And that's what Luca Rossi does. Collected on the halfway line by a red shirt. Marquez. Low driller to try and find touch and does. Over five minutes. 
to go in this first half. Entertaining first half. Captain, Lou, Captain. Next Hadu will be a free kick, okay? No Hadus, yeah. And now Georgian referee. Ten our players to get on with it. Ball lost by Carlo Bianchi and here come Portugal once again. Backwards, backwards. But went backwards, says our Georgian referee. Untidy Italian defence at this moment in time. Machedo. Ferreira gets over the game line. Machedo. Shift forward. I mean, the opportunity lost there though for Italians as Noventa relieves the pressure by sending this ball into touch. Well, it's going to be a penny for your thoughts for the Italian coaching staff and half time. That is for certain. Benucci Rod loses it, knock on advantage coming the red way. Okay. Second knock on from Ferreira, so we'll go back to the first. Go nowhere, please. Go nowhere, go nowhere on the tackles. Okay. And it will be Portugal who will have the put in. Well, for the Portuguese coaching staff, they will be absolutely thrown at what they've seen in this first half. No doubt Portugal have been the better for the two sides. Closer, I'll manage him, okay? I'll manage. Go a little bit closer. Okay, okay. Ma, but ma, hold on. Three minutes to go. Shoulders out. Shoulders out. Good. Yeah. Crouch. Picked up by Makedo. Lobo. Valente. Not on the ball. Never on the ball. Makedo. Marquez. Ball lost. Road back with the knock on advantage. Did come to the Italian way. And they will be setting up the scrum inside that on half on the 10 meter line. Despite being one or two on both dead as I've come into the Italian game, especially from the line out, it seems. The moment deserved this 14 5 lead from what we've seen in this first half. They're the ones who've been asking the questions. Two minutes to go. Italy to try and reduce the deficit with nine. The gap between the pair. Fans, well, that young man seems to be enjoying himself as well. I think responding to the Portuguese horn, he, he must be an Italian fan. Crouch! <coughs> Set! Hold! Hold! Use it! Come on! Good scrum from Portugal. They're the ones who've come out with the ball. Can they find a bonus score at the end of this first half? Racedo. Marquez. Can't take over the Italian way. few moments of this opening half.
Well, we're not forward there. So opportunity to come here for Italy to create an attacking platform inside the Portuguese half in the down few seconds of this opening half. Setup was better. Just don't go inside, okay? Setup was good. Don't go inside. Don't go inside. Okay, Time in the red. We do want the referee's watch. Look at Rossi. Where to put it. One last opportunity basically to reduce the deficit at the end of this first half. Excellent tackle. Indeed from Thomas Marquez. On Marco Ravanelli. Carlo Bianchi. Ball has been turned over and gone the Portuguese way. Picked up by Vasco Costa. Valente will be the try scorers. Marquez high into the sky. Seems to the Italians coming up another goal. So we are on the referee's watch here. Our clock in the corner is only a rough indicator of where we are in the half. We have had one or two stoppages, just to remind you as well. And the referee would have said to the players that what the last play would have been. Instead, Agnelli is on the run. Excellent offload from the Italian number 13. To Luca Rossi and Rossi has got a man to his left hand side and Igadene and this could be a bonus score for the Italians at the end of this first half but a good tackle from Martin Diaz. Italy inside the Portugal 22. Bonetti one of the try scorers in this game so far. Dolce this time for Italy. Portugal just looking to hold on at the end of this first half. The Italian fans have woke up with the opportunity that the team could potentially score here, or maybe not. Portuguese knock on, and that will bring the end of what has been a very entertaining first half of Six Nations Under-18 Festival Rugby. High fives from some of the Portugal players. They know they've done a job in this first half. They've worked hard for the lead. Nine points, the difference. Italy on home soil have it all to do. Because Portugal are the ones who are enjoying every moment on the pitch here in Parma at the Stadio Sergio Lanfranchi. At the break, the difference is nine points. Italy five, Portugal 14. So here's the two tries that we've seen. This was the second one. The first one indeed, in fact, sorry, from Bernardo Valente. That beautiful first touch. That even some of his compatriots in the Portuguese football team would be proud of. That opened the scoring. Reply from Henri Bonetti of Italy with the catch and drive. Conversion didn't happen on the boot of Roberto Fasti. 7 5 was the score at that point. And then the offload from Vasco Costa to Martin Diaz. And Diaz, delight. To get over it. To score Portugal's second try. 14 points to 5 is where we stand at half time. Opportunity for Italy. 
right at the end of this first half. Good tackle it was indeed from Diaz to stop into Dine in his tracks. That's where we stand at half time. Nine points the difference. Italy five, Portugal 40.
So both teams make their way back out onto the field. Well, for Portugal, it's going to be same again, please, gentlemen. You would have thought. For Italy, you need a response. Okay, I'll manage it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, Dolce, just have a little brief word with our uh, Georgian referee as Italy get this second half underway. Trailing by nine. Picked up already by Matti Diaz, one of the two Portugal try scorers. Okay, back in. Machedo. That was spinning away. But picked up well by the Italian fullback, Bastik. This is Drago. Just beats the tackle from Eduardo Uva. It's been looking for the first score, wherever that may be. Trying to reduce this deficit. Nicolò Nacelli of Benetton Rabbi Treviso on the field. And Italy, the ones who are starting on the front foot, that is for certain, and as a referee, is playing an advantage here. So, attacking platform opportunity to come here for the Italians. Free ball. Randall. Noventa. Inside the Portugal 22, they come. And they're going to come back from that earlier infringement. That there you go, the referee just saying he's offside. Italy ball, 10 metres out, into the corner it goes. Five metre line have to come for the Italians. To Dolce has just left the field for Italy. He's making his way round the field at this moment in time. I think he came from the Anti of Italy. in, collected by Romero, Force comes under pressure, and on try line, going to kick this deep, and it's not a bad kick in fact as well, and it's put Drago under pressure, a chance for the Portuguese defence to regroup here and, and reset ahead of this Italian advance, picked up by Giagnoni. Bass. Dene. Oh, the center rugby club. It's me, Miranda. Rossi. Offload to Vadim. Fasti. Rossi spots a gap. Vadim is strong. As is. Nocelli just shy of the try line. Good start this from Italy in the second half. Rossi 
Italian drive continues to come and they should be over. They could be over. Held off in fact. Good Portugal defence. Well, an army of bodies here. Let's have a look. Touch judge and referee both spotted it saying hold held up. Portugal can breathe again. Nine points of the difference. Portugal fans who have blown their way over here to Italy. The megaphones are out, the horns are out. They're enjoying every moment here in Parma. A couple of glum faces from the Italian fans in the crowd. It's the Portuguese who are the ones who are singing. Time's on. Over the mic. Over the mic. to restart. Drago. Noventa, Rossi, Basti, off goes to Fardin, Fardin into the corner with Noventa! Thumbs up from the touch judge, thumbs up from the Italian fans. Matteo Noventa of Benetton Rabito Rugby, second try for Italy. They needed the first score, they got the first score of the second half. Deficit now, four points. The Benta with the score. Italy are being the ones on the front foot in this second half. They're the ones who started the better. No doubt the right attack may have been read at half time to these players. Needed a response, they've got one. Four points down the deficit, this to put it to two. Not hasn't been there for Roberto Fasti today. He's heard it from two from the team. Four points the difference though, half hour to play. Start. Picked up by Petro Sili of the Veno Rugby Club. And on the pants, and now they're in trouble. Italy respond instantly. Malik Faisal of Parma, the scorer. This game has span in the blink of an eye. It's been nine down at half time, now have the lead. And now it's the Italian fans who are singing in the stands. The bounce caught Martin Piaz off guard. Malik Faisal of Rugby Pama 1931. Beat the tackle of Thomas Marquez. And now, Portugal are the ones under pressure. They haven't had much possession so far in this second half. The attacking platforms the Italians have made have brought rewards of two tries.
Fasting. To go three clear. And again, not there from the tee. Zero from three now. Today. But now Italy though, from being nine down at half time, are one ahead. One and six blue. One and six. Christian Branzini coming onto the field for Italy. Marquez restarts for Portugal. One point game, 25 to play. Faisal collects. Italian captain, Italian Maranda. Continue the Italian possession through Eduardo. Cordaro plays in for Northampton Saints and at Ipswich College. Luca Rossi. Advantage is being played for that knock on, but it went right into the bed basket of Martin Bento, but he's gone no further. And Portugal will have the put in the out. First time, really, realistically, they're going to have some possession here in this second half. It's been all Italy this first 10 minutes since the break. Italians, Portugal pick up the ball and once again trying to use their box of tricks but it's this time stopped by Roberto Fasti, Sili, this is Nicolò Rosselli, Miranda, Italy are finding the gaps Faisal looking for his second try, should be a try, looking for the corner, looking for the corner, oh he dropped it! No corner to the goal line, Well the Portuguese are celebrating there. No corner to the goal line drop out. They know they've dodged a massive bullet. But the gaps are opening up in the Portuguese defence. And Faisal should have made it, his second try, since coming on to the field. Cardinal sin from the Italian number 26. All the one he had, Dini to his left hand side as well, he could have used the Italian number seven. Thought he could have gone himself, ball knocked out of his hands. Portugal breathe again, but Italy come again. Noventa. Into his own man. Giagnone. So this is a different Italian side that we saw in the first half. Sili. Nocelli, use this strength to get inside the Portugal 22. Rossi. Miranda. Penalty Italy. Tap and go taken quickly, Rossi. Roselli. Referee's called an advantage here. Crossfield kick. Crossfield ball. Faisal tries again. But they're going to come back for an early infringement and somebody could be having a talking to here.
So Portugal down to 14. That's in there, 14. And now Italy, small blood. Bento, dangerous tackle. Right in front of the touch judge as well. Ball! And now the catch and drive for the Italians. A different team in these 15 minutes of the second half. Bonetti looking for his second try of the game. And he may have just got it. High fives. All around. A different Italian team since the break. 15 unanswered points. 14-5 down, now 20-14 up. Petro Sealy now on kicking duty for Italy. And that one has been hooked. Well, six points of the difference. 19 to play. Nearly 20. Portugal 14. Let's me. Let's me. We have subs, guys. We have subs. to be made for Portugal. from that kick. So far in the second half, you must say it's been all little. Let's go, have been choked Let's go. of any possession. This is one of the first opportunities they've had in the second half with the ball in hand. Take it the second time of asking by Uva. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But the ball was not forward and Portugal won't have the put in. But it's an opportunity for them to try and eat up some of the clock here to try and get their quota back to 15. No, it's under 15. Under 15, guys. Yeah. It must be said. Regardless of the result here, the Portuguese team are still playing with smiles. Stay down, guys. Don't stand up. Whatever happens, they're relishing this opportunity. Playing a quality side in Italy. And to their credit, they've been worth more than the entrance fee alone in this game, especially in that first half. Still, 15 minutes and change to play. They're only six points down. Use it, use it, use it. Macedo. High looking pass to Marquez who collects. And once again, Portugal now trying to run with the ball. They found themselves back inside their own half. Macedo assesses an option. 
as Ed Marquez spots a gap for the kick. Stays in play. Excellent hands from Noventa. Seeley. On the run they come again. Rosselli. Opportunity strikes. Opportunity knocks. And this time, Faisal doesn't fail. Second try. Clocked his lines on the previous occasion. This time hit the mark. Fifth Italian try. And with it, potentially, the game here in Parma. Doctor, The counter-attack in rugby that we've seen from the Italians in the second half so far has been exceptional. Portugal have now a answer. Fifteen to play. Eleven the difference. There is any critique to be said about the Italians in this game so far. It has to be from the team, you must say. Kicking game hasn't really been there. But all credit to Portugal for what we've seen so far. Yeah. First half they were magnificent. For the second half, Italy have just been too good. Yeah, it's like the pumping like for the tires. Metro. Can you know if you go like No, it's it's like something is bumping. Yeah. Like Paul uh, okay. for Yeah, maybe. He doesn't know. No. Here, 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 if I feel anything, I'll call you. Okay? Bye. Okay. Yeah. One, yeah. Yeah. That's how the referee who is going to seek medical treatment. Seems a niggle. Yeah. Referee from Georgia, Saba Makaradzi. About 15 minutes or so left to go in this game. This time from the team, Eduardo Tordaro. Yet again. <laughs> Success from the team from Italy today. Six reds. 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 Sebastiano Bonzoni and Lorenzo Ferrari. On to the field for the Italians. Bianchi inside the Portugal half the cup, long looping pass, and uh, that one was forward this time. And into Denner, who's been close to the score of the try in this game. we will have to wait his turn. Forward pass. Yellow card is coming back. Portugal back to their full quarter of 15. After Matt Invento returns to the field. Yeah, 
Stay down, guys. So turn up. Still a bit of time to go. Fight! Sit! Hold! Stop, stop, stop! You see that? And good scrum from Italy. Oh, knocked down. 22. 22. 22. Yeah. And the uh, 22 we start. Play on, play on. Stop knock on first by red, then blue. Scrum, blue. So that will be a Italian. Nice. We need patience. After yeah, impact, we have to hold, okay? Stop. Don't wheel, just hold. We'll have a little bit of time to play. Ten Stay minutes. On your Maybe a little, a couple more minutes after you finish. One or two stoppages that we have had in this game. Crouch! But this has been a magnificent Italian Crouch. performance in the second half. Set! Hold! Hold! Stop! 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 Seely. Faisal on a hat trick. Since coming onto the field around 20 minutes or so ago. Penalty advantage being played. And this is a chance for Denny to get that score that he's been looking for, and this time does so. Well, he's been knocking the door in this game. As Inter Dene of the Enter Rugby Club. And this time, they've answered the call. Sixth try for Italy, Inter DNA of Pienza Rugby Club has put this game to bed. Still opportunity for Italy to add to the quarter of 30 from the team this time. Uh, is that another success? Oh no, another failure. Zero for six. Across all their kickers today. And that is something to guarantee that the Italian coaching staff are going to work on ahead of Wednesday's game against Ireland. But all credit to Italy, who were outplayed in the first half by the Portuguese. They were stuck in neutral. Eight blue. Eight but now blue. I've gone into, through the gears rather quickly. Five tries in the second half. Portugal with no response, with hardly any possession. As well. We can go. Something for them to build on. Out Who's the captain? On the full, so. Who's the captain? Captain Scrum. Scrum on the halfway line. Scrum calls. Scrum. Whilst it was. You're in the first guys, half okay? from have to stay the Portuguese. Oh, been very much the beast in the second half. And the beast has been the Italians. It's been a bit ferocious. Well, you guys stay on your zones. The Portuguese have been unable to tame them. Stay but again, the experience of being here in Parma. Crouch! Playing a team with such quality. It's only going to better the Portuguese cause. 
going forward. And there gets to come against Wales and Ireland. In much more tougher tests. It's something for them to build on, no doubt. Lorenzo Ferrari motoring his way inside the Portuguese half. Balzoni. Chip forward. Under pressure again is Martin Diaz, one of the two Portugal try scorers. And that ball goes out and it will be line outs for the Portuguese. Five minutes of change to go in this top. Time's up. One or two players have seen some Time's treatments, off. the reinforcements no. ready to come on. Another team in red. Robbie, just wait. Hey, Saps, time is still off. And here comes the Portuguese capital. Wow, Passada, Antonio Camon, as well as Francisco Gutierre and Thomas Montiero. And to the field, and this time to the line, it's going to be Camon. And his first job is to find his man, but he does so. their own try light, try to find a way to get rid of this ball they haven't done, and instead it's going to the hands of the Venter, who wins the penalty for Italy. All credit to the Italians in this. the side, just the penalty, okay? Go lower. It was on the side, and you were dropping just penalty. Stopped. Any territory and any possessions to the Portuguese, and I've given them realistically a lesson in this second half. Good. Yeah. Last few minutes to come in this. Uh, seven minutes left. Second game of four that we're bringing you, still to come. France Island, which will be a very entertaining. Followed by England versus Wales, which is always. Stay, stay. We've just got to play it down and see if it's some treatment at this moment in time. Thanks to the delay in play. Uh, 
seven minutes left. Novento was the one who just leaving the field. Italian penalty. Yes. Up. Eight. Eight red. Eight red. Eight. Red eight. Sub. Salvador Gumiares. Miguel Romero. Bolzoni. May give going into touch here and he puts up. I know. He line up that way. Is it about four or so no minutes big, left no to go? No no it seems that Eduardo Liete wants to go off of it. Said so gives it to Antonio Camona. And the approach injury time. And what's been a very entertaining tosser. Hold, hold. Advantage. You are high. I don't see the ball. Should go lower. High tackle. here for the Portuguese to try and find another score. Time is in the red on our graphic, but that's just a rough indicator where we are. We do go on the referee's watch. So I would say we've got another two or three minutes to go in this contest. Menedes. High into the sky to put the Italian back to the pressure. A good kick it was too. Taken well by Agnelli. Only for Marcelli. Yes, off low. Second time of asking to rectify Carl of Arho. Menelis. Menelis. Vasili. Menelis. Thomas Montiero trying to find a gap. Mineres. A few times we've seen Portugal run a few phases in the second half. They have been starved of possession and territory. The ball has been pretty much camped out in the Italian half. That ball went backwards. No knock on given here by our referee. It's just leading up to put the Cherry on top of the icing on the cake here. Mineres. Pita. Viete. Ball knock forward. Portugal ball. Still time for this scrum. It's been a very entertaining second game. Eight tries we've seen between both the sides. Crouch! Yeah, yeah. Boy! 
Two hearts. First half it was all Portugal. The tries from Fernando Valente and Martin Diaz. Really asking the questions of the Italian starting 15. They scored with a try Sorry. from Henry Bonetti. <laughs> but then, different side. The right attack may have been set at half time. And then the gears were found. After being stuck in neutral in the first half, they went into fifth gear straight away. Another try from Bonetti. Try from Interdene. Alessandro Drago and Marek Faisal, who came onto the field to score two tries. No points from the boots. Something for the Italians to work on. They've got six tries past Portugal. Who in the first half were well worth the entrance fee alone. Second half, experience may have got the better of them. But they'll be relishing this experience here in Parma. They will face Wales on Wednesday. The Italians will face the Irish who come up next. I think someone crashed me. Eight tries that we saw in this game. The first of whom came from Bernardo Valente with a beautiful first touch on that left boot of his. Next time you have to make the you have to make the training. Look at the first touch here. Super he opened the scoring for the Portuguese. Only Vanetti responded for Italy a few moments later with a catch and drive. Two tries it was from the man from Bath Rugby Academy today. Then moments later. Try from another angle. Carbon copy roughly of the uh, what happened in the second half with the second Bonetti try. Good offload here from Pascal Costa to spot Martin Diaz who runs into the corner to score his try. Much to his delight as you can see. Well done, Sava. Well done, well done, well done, well done. But then, second half, all Italy. Right from the off. Matteo, Giorgio Noventa, the scorer. Hello. For 
and then moments later. Not long after coming onto the field, in fact. Awkward high kick. The bounce defeating Martin Diaz. Didn't defeat Malik Faisal. They got over the line. the first of his two tries and then from there is one way traffic Benetti with his second for the catch and drive from there the tie was only going to go one way the tide had turned completely points, Portugal were down to 14, Martin Bento was in the bin, Faisal who could have had a hat-trick on the day, picked up with his second, Zardini, who had been knocking the door a couple of times in this game, got close to the try line on a number of occasions. This time, found his reward. And the man from Pienta Rugby Club dives over to give Italy their sixth try and a victory in their opening game of three in the Six Nations Under 18 Festival. Relief for maybe the Italian coaching staff. Portugal, relish the experience, no doubt. Final score, Italy 30, Portugal 40. Stay with us as our next match will be France versus Ireland, which takes place in around about 35 minutes.
camera before. Okay, and so uh, when the match starts, I have to to play the the red button, red, right, or ah, okay. So someone else just come up here to play to play the red. Perfect, and then uh, I, I found the button to rotate to, to make it move, but uh, not uh, the button for the zoom in and zoom out. But I think it is the, the button that rotates near the, the rack, right? Uh,
to the third match of the